Hi, I'm Bad Wolf, and what I'll be showing you today is how to change your farm layout in Stardew Valley once you've already started a save. This will require the ability to extract or unzip folders, and it will require an account with Nexus Mods, which is free, or the ability to download the mod Stardew Valley Save Editor from some other website. So if you're not familiar with how to do those things, I'd recommend watching my video Stardew Valley How to Install Mods, which I'll link below. The first thing you'll want to do is take a screenshot of your farm. So I'm going to walk outside so we can get a screenshot of the outdoor area. Hit Escape, Options, scroll all the way to the bottom. We'll hit this camera icon to take a screenshot. Click Open Destination Folder. And then we can go ahead and close this game. We'll copy this screenshot, just right click, copy, right click on the desktop, paste. And these will be saved with your character's name and the date for today. So that's how you know which screenshot to click on. All right, so the next thing you'll want to do is back up your save file. That way, if anything goes wrong during this process, you'll have that. So I'm going to click on File Explorer. This PC, local disk C, users, my username, app data, roaming, Stardew Valley, saves, and I'm going to edit my Bethany solo save. Now, usually your save is labeled with your character name. I do have a couple here that are labeled with my farm name, and these are saves where I'm using the Stardew Valley expanded mod. So just be aware if you're using mods, your save may be labeled with uh, your farm name or it may not be labeled with your character name. But I'm going to edit the Bethany solo save, so I'm going to click on this. Now you'll see two files that have that character name or farm name depending on the save that you're editing. You don't want to use the old one. The old one is going to be your previous save. The one that doesn't say old is going to be your current save. So I'm just going to right click on this. Copy, right click on my desktop, paste. And that way we have that there in case anything goes wrong. Now I'm using a PC. If you have a Mac or you're running Linux, you're going to have a save folder in a different location. So if you're on a Mac, it will be in users, your username, .config, Stardew Valley, and then saves. If you are using Linux, it will be .config Stardew Valley saves. I will look and link a document in the description with those save folder locations in case you need to refer to it. Next, we'll want to open this file with Notepad. So I'm going to right click on my Bethany solo save, open with, and select the Notepad program. Now, if you have a Mac, I believe TextEdit is the equivalent program that you'd want to use. On Linux, there are a bunch of text editor programs. I believe Notepad++ or Vim Editor are two options for that. Next, we're going to want to find a specific chunk of text in this file. So in Notepad, I'm going to hit Control F to find this specific text. Now, I already have it saved in here, but what you're going to want to type is the less than sign, which, farm, and then the greater than sign. Hit enter. So this has found this chunk of text in the file. So you, you'll see it says it has the lesser than sign, which farm, greater than sign, a number, lesser than sign, slash, which farm, greater than sign. So the number between these which farm pieces of text, that's the number that indicates what farm layout that you have. So zero indicates that you have the standard farm layout. The Riverland farm is number one, the forest farm is two, the hilltop farm is three, the wilderness farm is four, the four corners farm is five, and the beach farm is six. 
So you'll want to change this number to the number of the farm layout that you want. So in this case, I want the four corners farm. So I'm going to change this zero to the number five. And then we'll close this and hit save. So at this point, you have changed the farm layout that you have. Now, the problem with changing your farm layout halfway through the game is that you may have a barn that's sitting halfway on top of your farm pond, or you may have some permanent terrain features like a bush that you're not able to chop down, and that might be in the middle of your area where you would plant crops. So the way that we fix those things is with a mod called Stardew Valley Save Editor. So we'll download this mod from a website called Nexus Mods. So I'm just going to type the word editor into the search box here and you'll see Stardew Valley Save Editor pops right up. We'll click on that. Now you can see in the description down here that they recommend downloading the image pack for this mod. I recommend that too because that's going to make it so that you can see most of the items on your farm when you open this program. They also explain how to install this. They just let you know you want to extract the zip folder and run the installer for this image pack once you download it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So first, you'll want to hit this manual download button. We'll click on slow download. And you'll see that the file downloaded in the lower left hand corner, so we'll click on that. Now this is opening up in WinRAR, which is the program I use to extract files. We'll just close this pop-up. We'll click Extract To. And we'll just extract it to our desktop into a new folder. Now, typically with mods, you want to install them in a mod folder within Stardew Valley. This isn't a mod that you're going to be running while you're running the game. So that's really not necessary. Um, we're just going to save it on our desktop. I'll click OK. And then that will have extracted that folder to the desktop. So we'll go ahead and close this. And we'll go back to our files area. So in the file tab, you can see that there are multiple files that you can download. We did the main download for this program already, but under optional files, you'll see the Farm Foundry image pack, and that's those images that we were talking about. So we do want to download this. I'll click manual download, slow download. So we can see this is downloading in the lower left hand corner here. Once it's done, we'll just click on that. And this is opening up in WinRAR again. We'll close this pop-up, extract to, and we can extract it to that same folder that we created on our desktop. So you can go to desktop and we'll go to this Farm Foundry folder, which was just created with the last download. Click OK. All right, we can go ahead and close this. We can close our Nexus Mods page. So you can see this folder here. And we'll need to install the image pack first. So let's click on image pack. And then we'll click on this install image pack. So this just says press any key to continue. So I'll hit the enter key. And that's done. So we'll go back to this Farm Foundry folder. And then we'll want to click on Farm Foundry, the program here that has the little chicken icon. 
So now we've opened the Farm Foundry Stardew Valley Save Editor program. So now we'll need to load the save that we want to edit. So I'll click on load. My Bethany solo save. We'll click on this star icon. This is how you edit things on the map. And then from the drop down, we'll select farm since it's our farm that we want to edit. So it's just pulling up our farm here. Now we can make this a bit bigger so we can see everything. So these are the types of areas that we're going to need to fix. Um, you know, if you try to load the game this way, it's either going to crash or, you know, it's not going to load properly. Or you're going to find that there are things that you just can't access. You know, these seed makers are kind of in or on top of this terrain here. So you're, you're just not going to be able to use those. So there's a couple things you can do. Now, what tends to be helpful because, you know, even though we downloaded that image pack, there are still some areas where you see a bunch of question marks. And that just indicates that there are items there that this program doesn't have images for. Now, what we can do is open our screenshot, to kind of compare what those things are. All right, so you can see that a lot of these question marks are chests or flooring. You know, there's some brick here. We have some preserved jars here, some more brick flooring. Here are some decorative item items, you know, benches, potted plants, things like that. So this will help you determine, you know, what do you just want to delete and what things do you want to move? If you don't care about losing money, losing equipment, you can go ahead and just delete anything that's in the way. If you want to move things, for example, if I want to save these seed makers, you can just click on it, pull it over to another area. Now, if you want to delete something, you can either just click on it, hit your delete key on your keyboard, uh, you know, if there is a larger area where you want to delete things, you can kind of left click with your mouse, circle it, and that'll select a bunch of stuff, and then you can click delete there. So for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to kind of delete anything that's in the way. Now, I do recommend saving frequently when you're editing this. I've found that if you try to edit a whole bunch of stuff, the program will close on you and it will not have saved those changes. So the way you save is you just click on this icon, save. We can click on this star icon to go back to our map. All right, so it looks like we've made all the changes that we need to make. We've cleared off areas where we have raised terrain here where we obviously can't have a building sitting. So we'll just want to save this. Go over to this upper left icon, this return scepter, click save, and we'll go ahead and close this program. Now, we'll go ahead and open the game and see how things look. I'll click on my Bethany solo save.
take a walk outside, see how things look. All right, so you can see that this was successfully edited. I have the Four Corners Farm layout now. You can see we have the terrain here of the Four Corners Farm. We have our bat or fruit cave down here. Now, obviously, this doesn't look amazing. You know, I didn't optimize everything. I just kind of got the things out of the way that were absolutely incompatible, like, you know, buildings in this area. Certainly, you could perfect things in Stardew Valley Save Editor, or you can just kind of fix things in the game after the fact, like, you know, put something here where we used to have our fish ponds, maybe expand our crop area here. If you find something wrong, for example, you know, you come over to your pond here and you have a bush floating above your pond, you can always go back into Stardew Valley Save Editor, delete that, um, you know, fix any minor things that you might have missed. Now, if at any point you decide, I want to go back to how things were, you know, maybe this is too tedious, you know, editing things in Stardew Valley Save Editor, I'll show you how to do that. We'll just want to exit the game. So we'll want to open our save file. So we'll go into File Explorer, this PC, Local Disk C, Users, our username, app data, roaming, Stardew Valley, saves. And I'll go into my Bethany solo save. Now we're just going to want to delete this edited save that we have. And we'll want to replace it with the one that we previously put on our desktop, that copy that we made. So I'll just click on this, right click, delete. Click on the copy I have on my desktop, right click, copy, right click in this folder, and paste. So now we'll go ahead and load the game again, and you'll see that everything has gone back to the way it was before we used Stardew Valley Save Editor and before we changed our farm type. All right, so we'll take a walk outside. And you can see I'm back to my standard farm layout. That raised terrain is gone here. Everything is good as new. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video or consider subscribing to our channel. I'm planning on putting out more Stardew Valley tutorials. I also stream Stardew Valley with my husband. You can find us at www.twitch.tv slash dyingticklesandbadwolf. Links are in the description. Thanks.